hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with the ecoflow portable battery and solar battery which we have done at least two videos i will leave some links right over here one of which was the unboxing which is in portuguese and i would invite you to watch it right over here i do believe that you will enjoy it so there's the invitation and we also did one in english as well which was with a solar panel with 50 watts where we did try a lot of different angles and orientations to see where we could place better our solar panels. I have 21 solar panels here at home and it's really, really difficult to position them in different positions. So this was an ideal companion to do that test. It was really nice, so link right over here. Now, I also did a few, I wouldn't say crazy things, but they were funny. I did take it to a picnic. For the rest of the And I also took it to the beach. And yes, that was a crazy thing. To the beach was really funny. I did take my desktop and I also took a laptop which is the Asus Dash F15. I will try to leave links down below and some links right over here so that you guys can check it out and of course link for the EcoFlow down below so that you guys can take a look at it and the specifications and boring things which I will try to move ahead. Now this particular model right over here has 288 watts per hour and for some of you this will be instantaneous okay i will be able to connect this for this amount of time and for some of you it will be a little bit more difficult and that's totally fine so during the video i will try to explain give some examples of what we can connect and what we can't connect to this model and if you need a superior model than this for a certain situation or not now in terms of the battery itself on this side right over here which is your left side and the left side of the battery we will find the inputs the way that we can charge we can connect it to our home sockets and charge it normally we can connect to our car and charge it as well or my favorite one which is solar panel we can connect to a solar panel and then connect the one that i was using is 50 watts but the battery will be able to accept a 200 watt maximum solar panel with 18 volts so that is just great with more specifications down below at the front panel which is my favorite one we will find some ports and we also find a lantern which will give us two levels of intensity and a sos mode which i did love it on the usb type c we will have a maximum of 100 watts output two usb type a with 12 watts maximum one usb fast charging type a of course with 18 watts and then we have the car dc output which will have a maximum output of 136 watts dc times two which will have 45 watts each and then here the information panel which i just love now the information panel when i did the unboxing adds a issue which showed 99 hours remaining whether it was charging or discharging and that was the only bug that i did find nonetheless ecoflow uh, had a few updates by the way there is an app that we can install on iphone or android phones and we'll have a lot of information about the battery which is really really awesome and that is the way that we will do firmware upgrades as well and i did at least two and the latest one that i did just a few days ago it did fix the our counting right over here so this is just great in my opinion especially because i can connect any device and i don't need to know how much that device is consuming and i don't need to know the uh, battery capacity and do any calculations because the battery will do that calculation and show me right over here okay you have only one hour left to play your computer and after that bye bye go to bed and then finally here on the right side we will have two ac outputs where we can connect 
any device that we have at home and one of the examples is the computer and a monitor for example the charging of the battery will have a duration of one hour if we charge from 0 to 80 percent more or less and if we want to charge 100 percent from 0 to 100 percent take roughly 100 and a half 140 minutes which is really awesome talking about connecting to the plug and getting the maximum input which is 250 watts now i did play around on the picnic i did play around on the beach but some results so that you can have an idea in terms of power consumption if i connect a desktop computer right over here which has an idle uh, power consumption of roughly 130 watts and we are talking about the desktop plus a display 4k lg display using an rtx 3060 ti idle 130 watts so if you are using the computer idle you will have roughly two hours more or less and how do i do this calculation 288 watts per hour total capacity consuming 130 watts per hour or 140 which is more or less half of the capacity that we have 288 so we will have two hours if i play a game then it will ramp up to 270 watts on the desktop with the monitor so how many hours will i have well only one hour more or less and then it's dead now if we take an example of the asus laptop dash f15 which i will share my review with you guys in just a few days we will have a lower consumption we are talking a laptop with the rtx 3060 laptop version so in idle we will spend roughly 50 watts and that will take us five hours or five hours and a half more or less to discharge the battery and if we ramp it up we will have 130 watts so it means we have two hours and something to deplete the battery another example is an android tv box it will consume roughly 40 to 50 watts once again five hours five hours and a half will be just fine and this is one of the examples that we can pick 50 watts is more or less what a mini fridge will spend while full blast really putting the inside cold full blast and we will have about five hours and something so if we want to connect the fridge for example this is very useful because the fridge if it's already cold it will not spend that much to keep it cold so that's a great use scenario now what are the limits of this battery and i do believe that this is important to know maximum of power consumption and we are talking about continuous power consumption i could plug in here probably two desktops like i do playing games we are talking about almost 600 watts which is the max and that would deplete the battery in half an hour more or less now can i connect a toaster for example yes but only if the toaster consumes less than 600 watts and has a peak inferior to 1200 watts and what this means is that some devices when we plug it in or when we press the on button it will ramp up to 1000 or 2000 watts and then quickly will go down to a continuous 600 or 700 or 800 depending on what we are using for example i've got a toaster that has a peak of 1500 watts and then it goes down to 800 i cannot use that toaster i did find the toaster online which has a consumption of 550 watts so that means that i can use that toaster right over here and I have toasts for about half an hour. So guys, this is it. Hopefully this will give you an idea of the appliances that you can connect right over here. And if you have a certain device that you really need to connect, then what I would suggest is take a look down below or search EcoFlow and you'll find several models. This is the River model, but you have superior models that will handle that peak power with higher wattages and also a higher continuous power consumption this model right over here 600 continuous 1200 peak but if we need to supply more power to certain devices then we will need to find a model that has that capacity that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if you still have any questions drop them down below i will answer as best and as fast as i can if the video was useful don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.